Welcome to Vio's Travel. Where to go and what to see. With kids! <laughs> Hi, we do a lot of road trips with our family and I'm going to show you a bunch of items that I keep on hand to make our road trips a lot smoother. The first one is a package of wipes. I might not be wiping baby butts anymore. I've got three kids that, they're not toddlers, but they're not quite to the teenage years yet, but you wouldn't believe how many times wipes would come in handy, whether it's sticky fingers, cleaning up a mess in the back seat as we're driving, um, really cleaning up anything. I always have wipes on hand. Um, another thing I like to do for our road trips is before we leave, I usually stop at the bank and get a roll of quarters. Um, these little quarters are amazing. And let me tell you why. During our road trips, my children earn quarters by having good behavior. If I catch them being nice, I'll give them a quarter. If they are nice to one of their siblings, I'll give them a quarter. If they hold the door for a stranger at a gas station, I will give them a quarter. And they can earn quarters throughout the trip and um, use those to buy little candy bars when we take rest breaks or um, save them up maybe for a really small little souvenir, but you wouldn't believe how this changes behavior and attitude when they know that they can earn quarters during the trip. Um, Dramamine, I always have this on hand, whether it's this or another brand. I love the chew tabs. These are an orange flavor and um, you chew them up and they go into effect really quickly because it's not a pill that you're swallowing. The kids love them. I use them because I'm constantly handing snacks to the back or breaking up fights or turning around to get a water bottle. And I found that in my older age, that kind of movement has actually made me car sick during road trips. So these are great for me. They're also handy to um, have on hand at our destination because we might be doing a random boat tour or I'm um, going to an amusement park. And if the kids are really anyone is having motion sickness trouble wait I just pop these something out. else that has come in handy during road trips is a very long charging cord I think this might be four or six feet but I know you can get them up to at least ten feet long and what I love about them during road trips is I can plug it in up front and it will reach all the way to the back of the van so if there's something that needs charged as we're driving I think we do have one plug in the way back um, but if we have a second item or uh, just really any kind of electronic that we need charged, I can plug this up front and hand um, the object to the to kid in the back seat and it can charge while they're playing. This little contraption might be my favorite ever road trip tool. It is a normal clock, but um, it also has a countdown feature. So if you're tired of getting the, when are we going to be there? How long until we're there? Questions that we get constantly from kids on the way to and from road trips. Um, this is amazing. So I set down the timer. Let's say we're three and a half hours away from our destination. When we start out the trip, I'll put in three hours and 30 minutes and start it and hand it back to a child. It is now that child's responsibility to tell the other kids in the car how long it is until we get there. So sometimes those answer or the questions float around the van, you know, how long until we get there. But it's always fun for the child that is responsible for this to be the one to give to give the answer. And it is also fun to watch that time count down um, as we're we're driving. Something else I always hit up before we do road trips is red box. We, if you're like me, we don't use a lot of DVDs in the house anymore. Everything is streamed, but we do use DVDs in the car. I don't like paying full price or even sale prices for DVDs. Um, we all know that you can rent a red box and that's great. Um, one thing about that is you can rent a red box in your hometown or in any random city and you can return it in a completely different city and that's fine. So you can rent it before you go and then turn it in once you're done watching that movie at the destination. But what some of you do not know is that you can actually purchase Redbox movies at the kiosks. I will show you how to do that in just a minute. But um, I got the new Lion King for $3.99 before it was even available on Disney Plus. And 
that's amazing. I don't like spending full price for movies, like I said. Um, I have yet to purchase a movie from Redbox and it not play. They've always been in good condition. And I'll usually purchase three movies, one for each child, and that's a little something that they get to open up on our way um, to our destination. And they're always excited to see what movie it is that, that I've bought for them. Sometimes I'll wrap them up in tissue paper or whatever so it gives them something to open. On a red box kiosk, you push buy movies. That takes you to all the movies that are available to purchase. I use the family tab to weed out the horror and adult movies. There are lots of options here. That Lion King is $6.99. When I purchased it last week, it was only $3.99. So that reminds me to tell you that movies are different prices at different kiosks. You can also use the Redbox app to find a movie, a specific movie you're looking for. It will tell you which movies are available at which kiosks. So I'm going to go for the Lego 2 movie. Press that button there and then you get the option of DVD or Blu-ray. There's just a warning saying that you are buying a used product. And then you go through the payment details with your credit card and out pops your movie. This one surprisingly enough looks brand new. I've never had one look this good. I've also made a little DIY first aid kit that I keep right under behind this um, passenger side seat. It slides right under the chair. I got this little Sterilite container from Target or wherever. I've got normal items in it um, like children's or ibuprofen, adult ibuprofen, some little first aid ointments and bite and uh, what is it called? Oh my word. Bite and itch relief stick for those unexpected bee stings or mosquito bites, whatever. Band-aids. I like this little um, holder because it is tin or aluminum or whatever kind of metal. It doesn't get smashed. So I always just refill, refill this when the, the band-aids run out. Um, little to-go toothbrushes and toothpaste, and I'll spare you the visual, but some girly items in here for those unexpected moments. Um, oh, this is a good one. Um, I don't have the original packaging, but I have little chew tab, um, Pedialax tabs for my kiddos if they get, um, constipated on trips. We know that happens a lot more when you're out of town or if you're on road trips or staying in funny places. Um, you tend to get constipated a little bit more often than when you're at home. These two are chew tabs so they're easy to chew up and swallow and um, they work pretty quickly. Um, I always carry a bottle of uh, a Benadryl or children's Benadryl allergy relief um, I do have a child that's allergic to horses and you would not believe how many times um, we come into contact with horses unexpectedly when we're on road trips. They might be offering um, carriage rides or there might be a petting zoo, um, things like that. So I learned the hard way having to leave a family function um, quickly because we ran into Amish horses that we weren't expecting to and had to take the entire family and zoom to a drugstore because my son was starting to swell up on the face. So I always keep this on hand. Um, let's see here. Sharpies. Sharpies are good for everything. You always need a Sharpie. And last but not least, I think this is my favorite little product that I keep in this little first aid kit. It's not technically for first aid, but it was such a great deal and I will always have one of these on hand. I got this at the Dollar Tree. What it is, is a, an eyeglass repair kit, but it has come in handy for so many things that aren't even related to glasses or eyeglasses. It comes with a magnifying glass. I don't, I mean, kid might enjoy playing with that. I don't know. comes with a little lens cloth, which is great for glasses or all the electronics that are floating around your vehicle during road trips. Um, but what I love most are these little itty bitty screwdrivers. There are a little, it's a little tiny flathead screwdriver. 
Um, that's come in handy for just opening products, really. Um, in packaging, there's um, also little Phillips. There's actually two of each. There's two flathead and two Phillips. And um, they've come in so handy with maybe replacing batteries on in toys or, like I said, using, <clears throat> excuse me, using um, the flathead to pry open packaging. Um, this, I've just, I've used this so much and it was only $1 for all of this at Dollar Tree. Um, let's see. I'll do, I have another video about what I keep in these little contraptions, but for every road trip, a couple weeks beforehand, I will get something similar to this. It is a, oh, like a notebook or coloring book size plastic um, container that also has a clipboard top to it. And I get one for each child and then I fill it with all kinds of stuff. This one came filled with a couple um, a couple different things, but when that road trip was over, I kept this uh, container and then each subsequent road trip, I fill it with new, exciting new coloring books, new um, notepads, colored pencils. I don't do crayons because crayons melt in the car. Um, just stuff for them to do and they're always excited to see what I've packed in here. I might also pack, um, put a, pa a pack of gum or mints or anything really, but this is nice because it has a flat surface that they can actually use too draw or color on and it, it keeps all their stuff contained and then um, I just found this today at Dollar Tree um, I used to pack a whole bag with snacks and like I said before with my little Dramamine um, stint I was constantly passing snacks back or telling them no you can't have more snacks or you know you need to wait an hour for another snack but now I found this little like I said it's a little um, like sterile container that has a lid that closes um, I will be packing these full of snacks. Each child will get one, and when these snacks are done, that's all that they get. So they'll hopefully learn how to um, eat snacks at the right times, not eat them all <laughs> within the first hour of the trip. I suppose if they do, then they're learning. So um, now I'm going to take you to the back seat of my van and show you a couple things that I have set up for my kids for organization. Okay, one of the things that I keep set up in the back seat are these little hooks that go around the headrest. I found this one on Amazon and it just um, pretty easily attaches to the headrest. You just search for headrest clip. I love this one. There's lots of room in the hook um, to hold larger items. Um, I also found this one that I don't love as much. This one is Rubbermaid and I believe I picked this up at Meijer. But um, it does have two hooks but the space in between the hooks is not as um, as big as the other one and uh, ten, things tend to fall off of this one a little bit easier so um, I do I prefer this style better. Well back here I was happy to see that one of my sons has kept this little um, little contraption thing that I purchased before a previous road trip. It was meant to be a first aid kit. It was in the dollar aisles at Target for maybe three dollars. I got one of these each for um, my three kids and packed it full of little notebooks and colored pencils and um, this one has a joke book in it but it, it held a lot of stuff and with a zipper on it it was nice to keep everything together in one and um, he obviously likes it because he still has it back here. I was out shopping today at Dollar Tree and came across this package of suction cup hooks. I thought what a great fun thing for my kids to have while road trips. They, it will um, they suction right to the window and I can't get this to come into focus. It will either lay flat or um, you can turn it out like that and hang whatever from. I'm excited to see what the kids will choose to hang from these little doomahickeys but how fun to have little little hooks to hang things on to keep stuff organized and from flying throughout the van. So there's nine in each package, so each of my kiddos will get three of them. I will leave links to some of these items in the description below. If you could give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel, I would be forever grateful. Remember to choose joy and take all of the pictures.